Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. I make all my scripts on this channel. They're original, so you find a new story here, for sure. Please enjoy the video and subscribe. Hi, how is everything going? Great. It's, uh, 5 p.m. You should head home now. Huh? I never leave on time? Oh, what do you mean? Are you stalking me, dear? Oh? Are you sure you want to talk to your boss like that? Jeez, you sound like my mother. Yes, yes, okay, I know... I'll go home once I finalize this report for London. It won't take too long. I promise. Plus, I've already gotten my 10,000 steps in today. Oh, not to worry, my dear assistant. Not to worry. Help? Oh, no, no, I said it's all good. I know you're my assistant, but that doesn't mean you should be with me my entire life. I mean, I would love to give my life to someone else, but you're my work assistant, not my life assistant. Oh, I know you're grateful. If you're truly thankful for me giving you this job, then you should listen to what I say and go home. I can handle the rest. You go home. Look, I've been the CMO for more than three years now. I know how much I can handle and how much I can't. Yes, yes, I don't need any help. What's wrong? Warm? Yes, the weather is getting quite warm these days. Huh? My, my hat? Oh, don't worry about it. What's wrong with wearing a hat? I like it. Do I not look good in the hat? Oh, come on, everyone knows that I'm fashionable. Definitely the leading fashion icon in this office. Otherwise, how would I charm all our clients into signing? Oh, no, I'm joking. <laughs> if I charmed anyone into signing a contract, I'd be arrested. Now, go home before I make you. And switch off the lights when you leave. All right? Bye-bye. Good night. <sighs> it was a good choice to hire you. How nice to have someone to care. Oh, gosh. My neck. Mm-hmm. Looks like everyone's finally gone. Oh, my assistant. If you one day find out what I'm hiding under this hat, I'll have to have you fired. I really don't want to. You're a really wonderful assistant. One glance and you know exactly what I want. Latte with oat milk and a mixture of white and dark chocolate cookie. Oh, you spoil me. Now I wonder if I can even live life without you. And, oh, this horrible hat. So uncomfortable. I can finally let my ears rest from being all pressed down. Ow. Oh, a bit of a strain. If only I was a bit more powerful, I wouldn't have to hide my ears. I could conceal them like our CEO can. Oh, jealousy, jealousy. Ow, and my tail. It's really not that comfortable having it wrapped around my leg. And this tight skirt. I should have just worn suit pants like I usually do. Oh, but the skirt is so pretty. Hmm, looks like tonight I'll be late home again. Look at all this traffic. 5 p.m. is never a good time to leave. This is the real reason why I stay so late. <gasps> oh my goodness. I... Uh, didn't you leave? What are you doing here? Huh? Oh, oh no, this is all... This is fake. It's all fake. I... I've been really into cosplaying lately. It's not what you think. I'm not a weirdo. I'm I'm going to my friend's birthday party right after and 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 this is 
I was just trying on what she sent me and she, she wanted everyone to be in that kind of ear and tail theme. So, so I, so she sent me this. Oh, I swear you're my assistant, right? You're not allowed to tell me on people. <laughs> huh? You, you, you saw it sway? Huh? What, what, what sway? My, my tail? Oh, gosh, stupid tail. <laughs> now, get in here. You better keep your mouth shut, dear. You know, I really liked you. You are one of the best assistants I've ever had, and I know you have minimal experience and no qualifications whatsoever, but the day I saw you in the interview room, I knew you were the best thing that we were going to get. And my hunch was right. But you... Why did you come back after 5pm? Why? If you hadn't left, I wouldn't have to fire you now. Ah, oh, What a mess. Oh, why? Why are you here? Why are you here after 5 p.m.? You know we have a strict go-home policy to prevent things like this happening. Why? You even switched off the light. If you had left, I wouldn't have to fire you. I would not only have to fire you, I will also now have to threaten you enough to keep your mouth shut. How annoying. I really, really liked you. From the bottom of my heart, you were an amazing assistant. You were so sweet, so nice, so capable. You were irreplaceable, whether it's the way you work, or the way you speak to me, or the amount of comfort I feel when I'm near you. Just why must you find out? Oh, why did you come back? You shouldn't have come back. Huh? What's that? C cake? You... Cake? Black forest cake and you chose to slice with the artificial cherry. I... You... You went downstairs to get this for me? That... That cake store closes 5pm. You... Did you get this for me? Knowing I'll be late in the office? <laughs> You're right. I'll never be able to finish that report until 7pm. Oh... You were worried I'd be hungry. <sighs> With your behavior, how can I ever fire you? Oh, I treasure you so much, how can I let you leave? But, but now you know too much. Yes, that's why I wear the hat. I'm not entirely human. Curious? Oh yes, humans are always curious, even when they're on the verge of death. Mm-hmm, oh yes, we exist. Hybrids of monsters, we all exist. Living amongst the established human society. Gosh, am I tearing up? <sighs> it's useless. You have to go. Are you not running? <sighs> have you ever wondered why this company's pet food section performs so well? Because the CEO of that sector knows exactly what those animals like to eat. So these pets will never want another brand after trying a house. Then these pet parents will stay loyal to us. Easy as that. Yes. There are more of us. We dominate practically the entire chief section of the company. If the pattern doesn't already give away itself, I am part leopard. Cool. <laughs> Just as expected. You never stop becoming interesting, do you? First, my orders. Then, my workload. Then you start becoming so caring, it makes me kind of concerned, and I got used to your sweetness. 
and now cake? <sighs> yes, dear, yes, that's why I work late and come late in the mornings. I'm partially nocturnal. Yes, that's also why I don't like the lights being switched on at night. You caught me. What a little detective you are. Oh, I'm known to be lazy in mornings. <laughs> could it be? Oh, could it be? <laughs> because I'm part leopard. Maybe I should just work at night. Oh, but then I'd be misinterpreted as a vampire, wouldn't I? Oh, yes, the CEO knows. They all know. In fact, all of us are. <laughs> I shouldn't be spilling so many secrets. I should be spilling your blood. Oh, but how can I? How can I? You're too precious. Oh, when would I ever find someone like you? I've never had issues taking lives, but, oh, I don't know why. I really, really don't want to take yours. Whenever I'm around you, I glow on my guard and tell you things I've been able to keep secret from others. That face of yours, the way you hold yourself, just makes me want to tell you everything. To let me take care of you. To let you take care of me. Just what are you doing to me? Oh? <laughs> oh? You can keep a secret? Mm-hmm. I can't. Not in front of you. Oh. Did you know what Stephanie told me today? Stephanie from finance has a big fat crush on you. Well, before that, I could smell it a mile away. Oh, are you blushing? Do you like her too? What? Oh, you can't believe that she likes you. Flustered, huh? How sweet. Must be your innocence that attracts me. Because all I've done is far from that. Oh, what's so weird about Stephanie having a crush on you? Shouldn't you be more worried that my claws are by your neck? Oh, but it's not odd that she likes you. Because I like you too. <laughs> How about this? How about we sign a non-disclosure the underground way? <laughs> that in turn of keeping my secret, you keep the job and get a promotion. Tell me, how do you feel about being my personal assistant? That way, you can ask me all the questions you have about us. Oh, pup. You are radiating with curiosity. You live down in a small apartment four streets from here, isn't that right? Oh no, I'm no stalker. It was on your resume. How would you like living in a lovely penthouse with me? It's rather lonely. And as my personal system, you'll be paid this much. <laughs> I can see your eyes glittering. How naughty. <laughs> this way I won't need to kill you and I can have your time all to myself. Now Stephanie won't get a chance. And I won't have to kill someone like you. I meant it when I said I really liked you. I meant it when I said you were capable. And I still mean it. When I say I might love you. Thank you for staying with me till the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I can't wait to see you again.